What is going on everybody? Welcome to yet another gameplay stream. Uh, very excited to have you guys here. I'm very excited to jump into today's deck. Now I just want to mention a couple things. One, our Kaldheim giveaway did finish up yesterday. A huge congratulations to Turtle Falcon for the win on that. Uh, we did reach out to you. Hopefully we'll heal back. we will hear back from you soon and we can get you that free bundle. Uh, thank you to everybody who entered. I really do appreciate that. That's a small way of us to give back, but it's also a great way to get more involvement, get more interaction and that kind of stuff. And so uh, all around, it's just a positive thing, in my opinion. Uh, and it's fun to, to just give away some free stuff from time to time. So we will have another giveaway coming up pretty soon. Uh, don't know exactly when quite yet, but... Uh, do stay tuned for that uh, over the next week or two. Um, one other thing I was going to mention, oh yes, card hunt. Uh, last week we did uh, start the card hunt for Vorinclex uh, with the obviously new release of Kaldheim. Uh, really excited to hunt that card down. Hopefully we can get it. Uh, we did not. We were not successful in getting Nicol Bolas in the, the War of the Spark card hunt. Uh, we did it for a month and nothing. So. A little unhappy to not get that and have to move on, but you guys voted on it, and uh, I'm really excited to be opening up some Kaldheim on Friday at 1. Please make sure you join if you don't know what that is. Basically, we're giving away a Vorinclex as soon as we find it, regardless of which one it is. So if it's the, you know, uh, some foil one, uh, just the regular one, whatever it might be, uh, we will be giving it away uh, for you guys. Now, I don't know, but my hope is we can get maybe a collector's booster box for the next one. Uh, just to kind of make it that much more special. Uh, and like I said, hopefully we find it. Uh, subs during that stream do get a free rare uh, from the boxes. So just a heads up if you guys want to, uh, you know, maximize your value. Uh, if you do decide to subscribe, that's a great way to do it. Uh, and we will naturally send you something, uh, whatever it might be. It's randomly selected. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump into the deck. So uh, today's deck is a take on... Basically a new take on the uh, Selesnya enchantments list, focusing a little bit heavier on these runes that we have. Uh, Rune of Sustenance and Rune of Might. These are obviously new cards that were introduced in Kaldheim, but they're great. They're really efficient and they do a lot. So it's an enchant permanent, but importantly that doesn't mean it has to be a creature. That can be a land for all it matters. It can be anything. Uh, but as this enters the battlefield, you draw a card. Uh, as long as the enchanted per permanent is a creature, it does get plus one, plus one, and trample. And as long as the enchanted permanent is equipped, it also gets uh, plus one, plus one, and has trample as well. So, really, really, oh, excuse me, as it is an enchantment, the equipped creature gets plus one, plus one, has trample. Uh, so, really, really strong. The, the key here is that this draws us into our deck further. So, these act as cantrips in this deck, even on a situation or on a board where we may not have the best targets for them. Uh, Rune of Sustenance, very similar, does also enchant a permanent and draws you a card, uh, but as long as it's a creature, it has lifelink, and the same thing is true for an equipment. Uh, it gives that creature lifelink, so obviously a little less powerful than the Rune of Might in terms of damage dealing. That trample really, really matters, but this is going to keep us in the game a good bit. Now, all that to say, uh, oh, I think we're getting a, uh, a call. It's not me, though. Uh, anyway. Uh, we do have uh, some other really, really important things here. Runeforge Champion, which is great. It does allow us to go in and search for a rune card from our deck or our graveyard uh, and put it into our hand. If you search it that way, you do shuffle your deck and then you can pay one rather than pay the mana cost for a rune spell that you cast. So you get to save on mana, uh, which is great. Really, really awesome. Uh, the rest of the deck is pretty straightforward. It's a lot of the same stuff that we've had in the deck prior. Uh, we've obviously got um, All That Glitters is a huge buff enchantment. We've got Alciad of Life's Bounty. Uh, we do have Banishing Light for a little bit of interaction. Uh, Satessin Champion obviously here to draw us some cards and get huge if possible. Uh, Siona is going to be really, really good for us because, again, it helps us search out those auras that we need. Uh, Archon, Archon of Sun's Grace is just the huge, like, flying beater that pumps out more stuff and is really, really awesome. And so very, very powerful card. Uh, we do get three Calyx in this list as well, which is a great way to kind of it, turn your enchantment into removal, which is really cool, uh, but also search for more. So it can kind of do play a little bit of both uh, as needed. And then we do have uh, Turn Timber Symbiosis as like a big finisher spell, as well as a Myria's Call if we can get there. In worst case scenario, they are just lands for us. Uh, now, the only new land that we do get to, you know, throw into this deck is uh, Bredegard Stronghold. Bredegard Stronghold? 
Uh, you can tap it, sacrifice it after you pay a green and two white, put a 1-1 one, one counter on each of up to two target creatures you control. They gain Vigilance and Lifelink until the end of the turn, but you can only do that as a sorcery. So it just provides us with a way to get a little bit more out there and make that big strong play to gain us some life, put something out there, and hopefully turn the tides in our favor. Uh, the only other card I forgot to mention, Destiny Spinner. It just protects us really against a lot of the control lists. There aren't as many control lists out right now that I am seeing. Uh, that being said, we're going to run into them eventually, so having a couple of these in the deck does make sense, and it is also an enchantment on its own. So all of this to say, this is one of my favorite archetypes, and I'm really, really excited to try this deck out. Uh, I have played just a couple games with it, had some pretty good luck, uh, so I'm excited to see where this goes. Uh, but, all that to say, it's gonna be a fun day, guys. It's gonna be a really, really, really fun day. Alright. Let's see what we can do. Let's do the best we can. Uh, let's see. Uh, unfortunately, this is not a great one. I saw a Boros Jeskai runes deck that got the rune uh, to cause a zero in a combo. Still beat it. Quirk's fine. Dude, I love that. Uh, that's really, really cool. Um, this is better. I think we honestly put the Archon back. As much as I love the Archon, that's not really what we're looking for. And this third land just guarantees us that we're getting to play everything. Of course, we get that anyway. Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play the Fable Passage first. That's fine. Um, we don't have a whole lot of interaction with the Fable Passage cracking it, so it's fine if we crack it early uh, and thin the deck just a little bit. Quirkspine, how are you doing today, buddy? What is new with you? Anything exciting going on today? Uh, Flying Jimbo, for someone who doesn't play on Arena frequently and therefore doesn't have a lot of wild cards, what would be a good archetype deck to try out uh, in the current meta? That is an excellent question. Um, and I'll be honest, I find it slightly difficult to answer because I try so many decks and I don't think about rarity <laughs> uh, that I really don't, like, nothing comes to mind just offhand. There are decks, like, very jank decks, like the Shrines deck and stuff like that, um, where you do obviously need the rare shrine, but um, a lot of the other big pieces to that deck are uncommon. Um, and so you can actually... Again, it's janky, but you can actually do something with that uh, if you are interested. Um, and it's a fun one. Um, it's silly, but it's fun. Uh, and I think that's okay. Also, we're going to Runeforge Champion. Just a heads up. Um, so, I mean, that's one. Like I said, it's a little janky. It's a little silly. But there are a lot of lists that are a lot of people that enjoy that deck. Uh, and it can be good. I mean, it, it does some really powerful stuff. Um... But even, like, Mono Red right now, there's, you know, decent Mythics and Rares in there, like Goldspan Dragon kind of hits the, the deck, and Embercleave, of course, stuff like that, that you're gonna have to have some wild cards for. I can offer some advice, though, in terms of just getting max value for everything that you do on Arena. Um, okay. I don't know why we won, but we won. Um, one thing I would suggest is if... If you enjoy drafting, I will say that. If you enjoy drafting, um, spend your gems on drafts. Draft the car draft a deck that's good. Don't just like draft rares and stuff like that, but draft a good, fun deck. Play out that draft, um, and then see like get that get the rewards to then chain into another draft. Uh, and what that does for you is it helps you fill out your cards a little bit more. May not always be the cards you need at the time, but it does open up packs for you. It gets you to the vault opening, that kind of stuff, and can push you to where you need to be. So I would suggest that you try that, uh, Jimbo. But again, that's just my opinion. That's worked for me in the past. Um, Quirkspine saying, I got to Diamond 1 yesterday. No clue how I got there. Two of my opponents conceded turn 1 and 3, and another flooded up to turn 9. Ooh, that's rough. Uh, limited is where I feel most comfortable, so that's a great idea. Good, good, good. I, I hope that that works for you. Uh, we'll go Alciad. And, you know, I think we're just going to go ahead and play this tap. So let's take that opportunity to not ha hit for three. Chances are we're not going to play the Amiria's Call, so that's fine. Um, Jimbo, yeah, if you feel super comfortable and, and limited in general, then that's perfect for you. Uh, absolutely perfect. It's a great way to to kind of push the boundary and get the max amount of uh, value from your, your playing. 
Oh no, we hit one. Um, all right, let's do this. Hmm. I'm gonna play this Atessin Champion. My expectation is that this may get uh, like Vanishing Lighted. Lighted? Might get removed. Uh, is the best way to put that, I think. Um, but that's okay. Sure. Uh, this is an interesting list because this is essentially a very similar enchantments matter kind of list, uh, which is good, but um, it's really interesting. Okay, so what do we do? We can't just Banishing Light, which is probably pretty worth it. Um, they do just get to sack that, though. Uh, hmm. The other option is to do this, draw a card, hopefully get a land. Draw two cards, really. Hopefully get a land and see where we can go from there. I think I'd prefer that. We draw two off of this, which should be enough. Yeah. Whoops. Let's go ahead and activate this. Let's get a white source, since we've got so many white sources or white cards in our hand. Just go ahead and throw it on here. Perfect. Uh, and I'll go ahead and attack in. I mean, we do need to get aggressive here. Um, this does have lifelink as well, so like we're we're getting ourselves out of range while dealing them damage, which is great. So we'll see if this actually pays off, but uh, we're very all in on this intestine champion at the moment. Um, but I don't know. I mean, they're getting a lot of lands, which is great for them, but I don't know what big spell they could really play here um, to to make this matter that much. Um, but we'll see. Uh, next turn, we do have the Archon, which we can drop down and just start getting a little extra value. The other option uh, would be to maybe Rune. Eh. Don't like that quite as much. I'm going to play this. We can Siona. Uh, not a bad idea, because we do potentially get an Aura out of that. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's try that. Uh, minus, we are doing a, uh, a rune, Selesnia rune stack. Um, wow. Okay, let's do that. Uh, and yeah, this is basically a mirror match. <laughs> uh, minus. Alright. Get to make a little creature, which is great, and attack in for a lot. One thing I did forget to do, which I will attempt to do now. I always forget to upload the deck to uh, Stream Decker. Uh, crucially here, they can block with something and then let the Alciad protect it, uh, which is probably what they do, right? Yeah. But here, we're burning through some of this, which is important. Crucially, that does block all of the damage, and we do not gain the life off of it. Uh, that is very, very important. All right. Uh, we'll do this. Cool. Okay. Minus, how are you doing today, buddy? What is new with you? I hope everybody's week is starting off strong, having a great time. Here, I'm going to Archon. I'm actually going to go Siona here. So... The reason being, we need to start spreading some things out here, uh, and all of this gets us so much value that it's kind of okay to, to let this do. And not bad, just got done with a sleep study. Nice. <laughs> a sleep study? Minus, please explain. Um, all right, let's see what they can do. Oh, nice. Okay. I mean, that's pretty cool. Um, I don't think that's good, but that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm... I'm very interested in this, Minus. Please explain. Uh, so they only have a land in hand. Sleep study is a medical procedure they do to find out if you have the sort of tree. Yes. So I, I'm with Jimbo though. Are you? Were you part? Were you being studied or were you studying somebody? Just out of curiosity. Um, I assume you were the one being. Uh, being studied, if I had to guess, but maybe I'm wrong. 
Uh, I was on the stage, sure. Okay. Um, we're gonna take 12. I don't really care about that that much. We've got a 13, 15 life linker. <laughs> um, all right. So let's do a couple things here. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, we'll get white. Um, I'm gonna do this. So the reason being, I'm trying to maximize our output here. Um, and maybe this is not the best idea, but I think it'll be fine. Ooh, that's very good. Okay. Uh, so that might change the math a little bit. Uh, I don't think it does. So I'm going to force them a little bit here. Hey, Garrett, what's up, buddy? So if we target this, it forces them to crack this, which is great for us. Oh, no, they didn't. They did not do it. Okay. Uh, that's kind of awesome for us. All right, there we go. We got the win. Garrett, how are you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Not much, uh, but hey, your stream decker isn't updated. I literally, so funny enough, Garrett, uh, I just pulled it up as we were in that game. So when I get done with this, I can actually update it. So I'm literally about to do that, but thank you so much. Uh, Garrett, the deck today is a Selesnia Runes enchantment deck, uh, and it's very, very fun. I love the enchantment builds. Um, can't believe I just got beat. Oh no, Pete. Pete, no. <laughs> uh, let's see, one second. Let's go ahead and update this bad boy. All right, set his current deck. Perfect, all right. Garrett, we should be updated. Thank you for uh, calling that out though. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Pete, you got beat by a deck with 230 cards in it. How? How in the world did you do that? Um, and what was the deck? <laughs> I'm so confused. Uh, this isn't the most exciting hand, if I'm honest, but we do have a Destiny Spinner with Banishing. I'm, I'm gonna try it. Um, this is just a really good, wholesome deck. Uh, I love these kinds of enchantment lists. I think they're really, really fun, and they, they are very, like, efficient. Uh, and when you get those synergies kind of rolling together, you can do so much with them. Uh, as you saw in the last game, we were, like, kind of going crazy uh, getting the value out. Oh, no, Pete. Blue back, black exile mill. Oh. I guarantee you that someone who played against mill, lost to it, thought, I'm never losing to this again, decided that they would build a deck that is impossible to lose to, to mill for, and then... Uh, and it happened to also be a mill deck. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and do this. Let's search up uh, our library. Let's just go ahead and get one of these since we've got the sustenance rune out. Uh, haven't actually played with Runeforge Champion yet, so this is kind of a new experience. I, I really like the card, uh, and it just really makes all these a, a super efficient plays. Uh, but next turn, we actually can just Kalex or... Hmm. We'll, we'll find something here. Uh, I kind of want to get an enchantment down before I have minus three on Calyx. Uh, I, I understand that we can use the Destiny Spinner, but I don't love that play. Um, it just is a little too easy to deal with. If there's creature removal, it hits it, and that's not great. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Um get you out there although in this option uh we do actually get to remove the first of rowan games which i think is worth it so let's uh let's go ahead and do this and this only obviously hits creatures so they can't really do anything about this it only would give it indestructible anyway but uh just makes it very very efficient okay uh the danger here is they can just kill this next turn. I'm going to say no attacks. I'm going to try and protect Calyx a little bit. Um, don't know if that's the right call, to be honest. And here we go. They do have black. Yeah, I figured. Uh, 
Um, so here they actually can just kill Calyx regardless if they attack with both creatures, very crucially. Um, if they don't, they won't be able to. Uh, but this does mean we get to get rid of that selfless savior now, which is kind of nice, um, just to make sure we're getting through what they've got here. Um, all right. We're gonna get white again. Let's do this. Wow. Okay. Um... What's Banishing Light the Rowan games? Again, this is like the big engine card for what I assume their deck is. Uh, and so anything we could do to kind of get rid of that is helpful. Mm. I think we're just gonna go Voltron. <laughs> uh, it also draws us a card, which is very crucial. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what they can do. Uh, importantly, they did not play a land last turn, so we are in a position where just trying to get rid of as much as we can is probably going to be a good idea. Um, okay. Switch our library. Let's go ahead and get a Rune of Might. <laughs> uh, why is... Why are there two options? Oh, just because I have two of them? That's so stupid. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, and here we attack, and then if they do decide to block, we can just give it pro white, and it doesn't really matter if they, like, double block it for some reason. But I want them to block first, because then we just deal the damage to them. Or to their creatures, excuse me. All right. And here we go. I mean, we're pretty well set up at this point, right? Because we do have protection for the Rune Forge uh, champion. We have another champion in hand and another one out on the field. So, like, we're, we're doing okay. Um, they can hit for four if they want, but I don't think that's really a good idea. And unfortunately, drawing a land there doesn't really help us. Um, Garrett, yeah, the, the deck is fun. Uh, I really, really like this deck. Um, but it is, it's spinning its wheels a bit at the moment. I mean, we're finding that the Runeforge champion is very good at um, kind of keeping that from happening too badly. Um, but at the same time, it's not like we're doing a ton of really awesome things every turn. Um, hopefully we can draw a nice card here. Calyx is good. Um, it doesn't get us where we need to be quite yet, but... Uh, next turn that should be very very helpful for us which is great um so yeah i feel pretty good and again their landlock i mean they they're uh mana screwed pretty badly here so perfect and we just get to leave this up i mean they do have the Mythos uh, of Nethroi, which is a pretty interesting pick. Uh, it's not a card we've seen a lot of in a lot of different decks. Wow. Um, but it is a very, very strong one, just in the simple fact that uh, essentially they can uh, destroy any permanents. So like our Banishing Lights are not safe, uh, unfortunately. So here we're going to Calyx first. Uh, because if we can get an enchantment and pump this up just a little bit more, hey Omega, we can actually just win this turn, theoretically. Um, banishing Lights. Uh, or Alciad. I think we just take Banishing Light. Uh, it's not amazing, but it's something. Uh, hmm. Let's attack first, see what they do. Omega, how are you doing today, buddy? Good to see you. Super happy to have you here. Uh, that's fine. Let's do this just for the sake of... And then we'll crack this. They do get to crack this and um, protect their angel, and that's fine. I expected them to do so. Uh, white. But we also don't take damage from it now. <clears throat> okay. Um, 
We'll just play as a Tessin champion then. Easy enough. Uh, this just allows us to draw a lot more. The only worry would be if they had a uh, significant number of like sweepers or something, which I don't think they would have. Um, given that they are fairly creature heavy themselves, that seems like a bad idea. You wouldn't run selfless save here in that kind of deck, I don't think. Uh, all right, so we banishing light. This is going to be an interesting turn. So we Banishing Light, getting rid of an Angel. This allows us to draw, play a land, not super exciting. Um, let's do, uh, uh, yeah, I guess we should do this. Banishing Light, just get rid of the Angel, right? since that would remove the secondary uh, counter from really doing anything. And then here, we actually just get to <laughs> Calyx again. All right, cool. We got there. That was a heck of a last turn. <laughs> uh, hype in chat, guys. We did it. Uh, we got there. I love the feel of this deck. That's 3-0. and oh. By the way, who wants to keep track of score in chat? Uh, anybody definitely going to be here for a little bit? Um, Feel free to jump in and keep score for us. We are at 3 and 0 oh currently. Um, really loving this deck. Thanks, Garrett. You're the man. You always come through. Niotic, what's up, man? Good to see you. How are you doing today? Good to see you. It's great to see all these awesome people. Transcendent Envoy would do well in this deck as well. You're probably correct. Um, I'm going to mulligan that. I think that's kind of a bad hand. This is fine. Um, it's not amazing, but I'd rather keep this, actually. We're gonna Alcy at first. Um, yeah, Transcendent Envoy might do do well in here, Quirk's fine. I think you're, you're probably right. Um, let's go ahead and attack for one. Uh, doing pretty well. Had some free time, so I thought I'd hop on and watch the stream. Niatic, I appreciate it, man. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for for hopping in with us. Um, obviously really needing a land here if we can get it. I mean, we do have the rune as a backup option, um, but I'd certainly rather just draw a land and place a Tessin champion. It's like we're not gonna get it, so let's do this. It does allow us to draw a card, perfect. And that again is just adding to that consistency. We know that that rune does literal nothing on uh, Alciad of, life, of Life's Bounty, but the point of it is to, to draw the card. Uh, Omega saying, the first deck was Celesnia. Always love to see it. Dude, that's awesome. Um, Celesnia is a fun color combo. I mean, they're like, I'll be honest and say it's like my two not favorite colors. Um, <laughs> but that being said, like you can certainly do some really cool stuff with uh, Celesnia colors. And I think we're proving that today. So I'm happy with it. Uh, okay. So, option one, banishing like this. Option two is just a Tessin champion. Uh, we could also banishing like this, but... I think I'm gonna banishing like the giant here. I don't like these to stay on the field too long. Eventually they do get hexproof and then we just don't have a way to truly deal with it. Um, and as much as this In Search of Greatness is kind of the engine, quote unquote, I'll be honest and say it's been very underwhelming um, every time I have seen it played or played it myself. And so while I don't think it's a bad card, I don't think it's as amazing uh, as it maybe could be. Go ahead and Satessin Champion. Unfortunately, just not hitting lands, so we may end up losing this one just purely due to that fact, and that's okay. It happens. Um, if Satessin Champion can stick, uh, we... We actually can very easily outpower Yervo uh, pretty quickly here, so we'll we'll see. Double greatness, that's pretty cool. I assume they're gonna ram through or something like that. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and Guilds of Ravnica, oh dude, nice. That's really good. Uh, what arena mode are you in? Uh, we are best of one standard, uh, nerdy offender. By the way, welcome. I hope you're doing well today. All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. 
Uh, it's gonna be a rough one though. Not gonna lie. Look at this uh, this little lineup we got going on here. Guilds of Ravnica was a fun set. Like, I actually really enjoyed it. Um, I still like the OG Ravnica the best, obviously, but um, all the Ravnica sets have generally been okay in one way or another. They're not great, but some of them aren't necessarily great, but in general, they're pretty good. All right, I think we're losing this game. We got outpaced in lands. I, it is what it is, that happens. I don't feel bad about it, and honestly, the opponent can can push through it then by all means go for it um let's see 10 and 7 so we do have to block something here i actually think it's this one funny enough um so the reason being that rune then goes to the graveyard um and then we can pull it back with something Ooh, that is the downside though i guess isn't it that we lose it out to that um Put that in the bottom. So we can Calyx, which is like, meh. Hmm. I mean, that's not bad. Um, that helped like a good bit. Um, well, we're not out of the woods yet, but that was very helpful. Uh, don't know though if we can get rid of this, the, uh, the 10, 10 on the field. That's kind of the problem is it's still, whenever another green creature enters the battlefield, you still get a 1-1 counter on it. That's the problem. Uh, so, worth noting, had I sacrificed this one instead of the other, we would have had extra power and toughness, which was a mistake on my end. Yep. 11-11. Okay, but we still don't die, actually. Um, uh, I have the outdated version of that deck with the Elf Druid with Hexproof in it. How did you upgrade it? Uh, if you click on the stream, uh, I'm also, first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and concede. There's Street Decker on this stream, Nerdy Offender. You can actually look at the list right there. Uh, and so you should be able to pull that up on the on Twitch itself. Um, I actually am not looking at our actual Twitch at the moment, so I don't know. It should be on the right of the screen. Garrett, correct correct me if I'm wrong, uh, since I know you're you use that stream decker thing a little bit more. So uh, feel free to to chime in. Uh, but the deck list is there. Thank you also for updating our score. Three and one, everybody. Three and one. Looking at the half hour mark right now. Um, probably gonna be streaming for about an hour, of course. Um, it's on the right margin, halfway up the screen. Thank you, Garrett. Thank you, thank you. Somebody's phone is going off again. All right, and it's not mine. All right. I don't want to, but we are gonna keep this because we kind of just don't want to go too far down. And the temple helps, um, but we do need some early stuff to play here. Also, I just like really enjoy having music on the stream now. It's really fun. Nerdy Offender found it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Glad you found it. Uh, yeah, Omega, um, Archon of Sun's Grace is stupid good. <laughs> uh, like really, really good. Um, I'm gonna take the opportunity to actually play Siona. Um, does it seem great? Oh man, we whiffed on Siona. Well, that sucks. Um, doesn't seem super great, I understand that, but uh, we can start spitting out some 1-1s one that might be able to help us here. This deck is going to be a rough matchup, there's no doubt about it. Um, I probably will Banishing Light the Scavenger. That's a very big problem card for us, uh, so we'll, we'll see. Um, Alright, uh, yeah, let's do that. So we can play this, then Rune of Might. Not a bad play. Uh, just to wait and see what they could play later on. It also gets... Yeah, I'm gonna try that. Don't love it, um, but let's uh, let's see what we can do here. So it allows us to do this, then allows us to do this. 
which spits out a token, then draws us a card. And then we can attack in here. If they would like, they can take that trade, which I'm all too happy to do. Um, I mean, we are offering a pretty good trade on their end because they lose. Yeah, they we would lose the one one engine essentially, uh, whereas they would lose a two three flying death touch life linker, uh, which is still very good. But um, I'm actually pretty okay with making that trade. It's not amazing, but it's fine. Um. Importantly, too, with the Banishing Light in hand, like, if we can keep them on a low number of permanents, then that keeps us, uh, or keeps that Banishing Light at high value. Um, so these, you know, this little guy we can just deal with at some point. We'll see. Ooh, Alluris. Well, that we're going to do. Do you have that card function where Twitch looks for the MTG card text? Nerdy Offender, we do not, uh, unfortunately. Um, it's something to look into, though. I don't know the name of that, uh that extension um rogue's still going strong yeah omega unfortunately um they did not attack all right let's do this let's get rid of luris do not want them to have that um and let's throw this on the champion allows us to get in for an attack here be aggressive that's what we want um and again, keeping them low on these permanents. Luris is about the best thing we can get for it. Uh, Salt Grixis Rogues. Uh, uh, that's very different. Um, Grixis Rogues, really? What's the red for? Is my question. Um, trying to think what red rogue would matter. And I'm sure there is stuff, but I just I'm not thinking about it. Or is that just for like removal side of things? Uh, that's annoying. Ruin Crab is very annoying. Robber and Relic Robber. Okay, yeah, I mean, that's fair, but... I don't know. I don't know that I would run that, to be honest. I think the, the consistency of the blue-black is really, really strong. But, just my opinion. If it works, it works. So, don't always listen to me. <laughs> Obviously. Um, okay. Okay. Oh, there's Archon. So this is actually a really cool turn. So we can Archon. Hope we don't run into a counter. Uh, but then we can Rune of Sustenance regardless. So that's helpful. All right. There's the counter. Kind of expected it. And let's do this. Let's gain ourselves a little bit of life here. Uh, and also just commit to doing a bit more damage too. Oh, and a land is nice. Okay. <clears throat> a bit short, yeah. That's fair. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I would have loved the Archon to have stuck, but I'm not surprised by them. Nerdy Offender, I'm assuming that's in response to, to them countering. That's not a surprise. It's unfortunate. It's not a surprise. Um, the good news is we actually can Runeforge Champion to get... Uh, Rune of the Might out of the graveyard and buff this guy up a good bit. Um, so I think that's going to be the play, unfortunately. Just getting flooded a bit here as well. Alright, let's do this. Let's go to the graveyard. <laughs> yeah, I figured. Alright. Oh, even better. Alright, so that's a very strong attack. <laughs> uh, if anybody does want to pick up any merch or anything like that, please feel free. There is the uh, link to our store right there in chat for you. Um, really appreciate all the support that you guys have shown, um, and that's a great way to continue doing so. Please don't feel like you have to, of course, but uh, it does mean a lot to us, and obviously it really does impact us pretty heavily, given that we're a small channel. Um, every little bit is significant, uh, and so... We'd certainly appreciate it, but please don't feel like you have to. I will say, though, the new, um, and I, I keep forgetting to update this, the, the graphic, the Tropical Island um, digital altar is available now, um, and that is in our store, so if you click that link, you can see exactly what I'm talking about. All right, well, they could deal with our big thing, 
so <laughs> we're probably dead, but um, they are milling us at an excessive rate, which makes this a little bit tricky. Um, look, I love Archon, but we're a little late on the Archon here. Um, yep. If we can somehow punch through two damage, we can do this, but uh, I don't have high hope. Uh, I like to do is spread the power amongst all the creatures. Nerdy Offender, normally I would agree. Um, unfortunately, in this case, I think that was not the appropriate response. And the only reason I say that is because we were trying to push through and be aggressive, uh, which I think is the right call, given this deck. Um, you can see they're milling us excessively. The problem with waiting and spreading out that damage is that it does take you longer to do so. Um, and that for us means that they have more time to mill us, which makes it a lot harder for us to actually win. Uh, we have 10 cards left. If they draw lands, uh, is bad if they don't do... Yeah, Omega, that's exactly correct. Um, the worst position against rogues, exactly. Like, unfortunately, we're... I don't think we played terribly bad. I think... Um, one, we drew a number of lands in a row, which was a bit of a problem, but two, uh, we just didn't get, you know, the cards that we necessarily needed. Um, they just get to attack with one thing here, and then we're, we're pretty well squared away. Um, although I guess we do get a turn, but, I mean, we're, we're, we're dead. I mean, no doubt about it. <clears throat> Unless somehow the last two cards in our deck are exactly enchantments. And even then, we're not going to be able to do it this turn. Um, yeah. And it's not. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and concede. They got us. Nothing we can do about that. All right, let's jump into another game. Uh, we'll probably do maybe two more. Garrett, thanks for updating us. Yeah, Garrett, I do think that was a good game. Like I, like I said, I, I wouldn't have played it any differently, I don't think. Um, Omega Rogues is frustrating. Yeah, it is. Um, but I do think that, you know, it's important to, to know how to attack a certain game plan and against Rogues, personally, and again, this is just what I have found to work the best, um, I have found it very helpful to just attack as quickly as possible. I'm actually going to keep this. It is a bit slow, though. We know that. Um, just attack as quickly as you can, get in there for as much damage as you can early on. Uh, and then the idea being to finish out the game in those last few turns uh, with maybe an Archon or something along those lines. Um, doesn't always work. Obviously it didn't that time, but I think it's the best possible way to attack that uh, game plan. Alright, well, I was trying to uh, deck then a little bit, and here we go. Uh, did you make a rogue deck yet? Nerdy Offender? I did uh, pre Kaldheim, yes. Um, I It's on our YouTube if you want to go watch it there, but... I, uh, I kind of got tired of rogues pretty quickly. Um, but as control rises in the meta, I think rogues are necessary to deal with Yorian, Abzan, and Sultai. Uh, I think I agree with you, Omega. Um, rogues is kind of a necessary evil. It, it, let me be clear in saying rogues is just a good deck. It's very easy, not easy, but there are game plans that very efficiently uh, deal with rogues. Um, all that to say... It's just a frustrating matchup for some decks, and I think this happens to be one of them. Uh, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, I don't think there's, like, obviously not to jump to conclusions, but I don't think there's, like, a ban that would need to happen for rogues or anything like that. Um, it's just an annoying deck. That's all. Okay. Um, interesting, interesting. We actually have ways to deal with the Midnight Clock, so I'm not super worried about that. Uh, is good and fun to play. Yeah, definitely. Um, Alright, let's Siona first. Let's see what they do. They may counter. This may be counter burn. Uh, and it looks like it is. Okay. Uh, yeah. Since we might actually have time for Emiria's call, I'm gonna wait. Um... As much as I don't want to have to get to that point, I do think that's what you do. Uh, it's good and fun to play. Yeah, oh yeah, okay. 
but as an example, Rakdos cannot win versus Sultai, Yorian, and Standard. It's almost impossible. Um, yeah, it's a difficult one, no doubt. All right, so we're in this position again where we just don't have anything to do. I'm actually going to draw. This is the fun part about this, is you can just draw a card by doing this. <laughs> the frogs don't stay a deck Yorian reigns alone. Uh, some, I partially agree with that. All right, well, still don't have any threats. <laughs> um, I think there are decks Omega... I, I, Omega, I think there are decks that can beat Yorian, but it is a, it's a tricky one. Yorian's very, very powerful. Um, oh, this is a Lutri deck. Oh, how cool. Well, here, I hope we lose to this. Major Meatloaf, what is up, my friend? What a great username. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, hope you enjoy the content. It's great to have you. And I hope you're doing well today. Uh, yes. Sultai, yes. Uh, Omega, agree. Uh, they got banned, or am I thinking of something else? Nerdy Offender, it did not get banned. Okay. Uh, Lutri got banned in some format, not standard. Garrett, it got, Lutri actually got banned in, um, specifically... I think we just take this and throw it on here. Lutra got banned immediately in Commander. <laughs> um, Alright. I mean, they just get to kill this. That's fine. Again, we just have to find something. Like, we're just not doing anything. <laughs> uh, and since I love Rakdos, I hold a grudge against <laughs> Omega. I like it. Oh, okay. Well, they just kill it that way. Oh my gosh. Just not getting it. Just not getting anything. Um, Alright. Here we are. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. So we can actually just Amiria's Call, though. Uh, next turn you get Amiria's Call. Yeah. Right. Holy crap. We are just getting so many lands. Uh, we can actually Symbiosis as well. I think I actually like that better. Do I like that better? No, I think we like this better. I think that's stronger. Um, but we can turn Timber Symbiosis next turn. Which is pretty good. And they're bricking. I mean, they're getting lands like crazy. Um, although, I guess, yeah. They're about to activate Midnight Glock. I actually don't think that's... I mean, that's a problem, but... Or you make bigger angels. Uh, yeah. So they only have two mana left open, though, so this doesn't worry me quite as much. I'll happily take the block. Hmm. Let's see what we get. Is it's having a fun time? Yeah. Uh, they, yeah. Kind of was the thought there is that they might have that, but it's worth it to try. And we obviously are not going to attack. We're just leaving up for blocks. Um, is it's doing its thing? I would, I guarantee you, if we had had a faster start, we would have been fine. Uh, as great as this deck is, because it's a very fun deck, the is it kind of burn style deck is always a good time, but as strong as it is, I promise you we could have beaten it. Um, but here we are. It is what it is. They could just deal three to us, we just lose. For a deck all around, new dragon seemed really strong. Best of one. Yeah, uh, the. The Goldspan Dragon is super good. I'm gonna play Destiny Spinner out. I kind of assumed it would get countered, but I thought that would be worth trying. Um, hmm. 
Alright. Uh, Omega, we actually played that Boris Treasures deck that uh, Quirkspine put together for us, and it was sweet. It was really, really sweet. Yeah, they just attack with this. And I was kind of hoping they would, like, miss it and somehow attack with both. <laughs> uh, but they just got us. All right, what you guys think? One more? Or should we end it there? Um, either way, guys, I really do appreciate everybody hanging out. It's been great to talk with everybody today, too. Lots of great questions. Um, let me know in chat. Do you want to do one more or no? We've got time for maybe one more. Garrett saying one more for sure? You got it. Just for you, Garrett just for you let's do this all right one more to settle it omega i like it uh guys are you enjoying the deck may i ask do you like this deck um do you feel this is something you would try uh just make it a dub <laughs> uh all right all right what do we got you know, normally I would say I wouldn't keep this, but we have a scry land and we also have a shuffle effect, so I kind of like it. Uh, Garrett, I agree with your assessment. Um, yeah, I don't know how much of that is because we do have to keep in mind we're playing we are playing total of seven games now, and like I think we do have to keep in mind variance is always going to be a thing. So how much of that is just down to variance, and how much of that is like the construction of the deck itself? I think anytime you have an enchantment deck like this, you are going to run into variance issues. And the reason I say that is, oh look, elves, how fun. Um, oh no. Uh, the reason I say that is specifically because, um, you know, half the cards in your deck are enchantments. So like, naturally, if you just draw a bunch of enchantments and nothing to put them on, it's not very good. This deck does a decent job of mitigating some of that with the runes of might and the sustenance runes because they can be played on just a land or whatever you want to, to to put them on but they're not a perfect system it's not like that's what you want to be doing um and so it's not great when you have to do that kind of thing uh and here we're kind of seeing that play out a little bit um so i'm gonna be aggressive with this <laughs> oh guys 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 so next turn we have Archon, uh, and we're probably still going to die. <laughs> uh, but that's fine. Sure. All right. Um, I also have to assume they've got like a removal spell of some kind. Um, they've got black. They obviously have ways to, to deal with stuff, I'm sure. Um, so my only hope really is that this sticks this turn, and we can play something like some enchantments just to bolster up our board a little bit, but I don't have high hopes. If they just remove it, yeah, there we go. Uh, they did have to tap stuff down to do that though, um, which is kind of worth noting. Yesterday at Elves Deck gave me 156 in a swing turn. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jimbo, yeah, kind of giving us the whelp. Yeah, chances are we don't have this, but we're gonna try. If they can't remove this, then they don't have a safe attack because we do get to gain three from the Archon. So, like, there is a world where we get through this turn, but I don't have high hopes. I really don't have high hopes. Um, if it does stick, we'll start runing and, like, do the best we can to just spread damage out. Um, because if we have a lot of creatures that... Oh, well. Guys, they just have it. That's so annoying. Um, all right. Yeah, Garrett, we tried. Um, if we had faded a removal spell there, we could have done something. Uh, but unfortunately, we just can't. So, all right. Uh, to sum up the deck, um, Garrett, you said it very well. It is a little clunky at times, for sure. Uh, and I think that makes it a little... Uh, it's not going to be tier one, obviously. Uh, Omega saying sometimes there's nothing to do. Unfortunately, that's the, the nature of an enchantments deck sometimes. I think it's a very fun deck, and I do like that the the what the runes provide to the deck is that little bit of flexibility. Um, but you're still going to run into those, and unfortunately we did here. So regardless, it's a very fun deck. If you guys do want to try it, please feel free. It's a fun one. Uh, but other than that, uh, I just enjoyed hanging out and talking with you guys. So thank you so much for being here. I hope you had a great time. hope you have a great rest of your day. We will be back tomorrow for some more gameplay. 
And keep in mind, we do have the card hunt uh, for Vorinclex Monstrous Raider uh, again on Friday at 1 p.m. So thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. Garrett, thanks for keeping the record as always, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day, guys.